My partner, he was hosting a Travis Scott down Tolliver event. Not a lot of people knew about it. He was like, hey man, pull up to it. I went to Saks, I bought a fresh ass Gucci fit. Basically my shit had wrinkled, right? So I'm ironing the motherfucker, burned out. Big ass hole in that motherfucker. My girl was like, ooh, shit, you fucked up. I'm like, man, fuck this shit, I ain't gonna go. I'm just gonna stay at the crib with the baby and you. She's like, man, hell now you gonna get up and take your ass up there, put something else on. Travis ain't pulled up yet, but I'm in the back, smoking, rolling up, you know, talking with everybody. And all of a sudden you just hear somebody scream and go crazy. He come in there. And I remember talking to one of the promoters who was like escorting him over there. I was like, hey man, introduce me to that nigga. I wanna meet him and he whispered in me like, hey, this is June James, blah, 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 blah. He did Key to Streets every day we live. He's like, oh, every day we live my shit. That's what he said to me. And you go hard, dog. Hey, you from the city, blah, 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 blah. He's like, you want to take a picture? I was like, nah, I don't take a picture, bro. I just want to get your email. I got some heat for you. He's like, I'm going to give you my personal email. Now, I literally had made the Yo 70 beat a week before that shit. When we basically created seven to five pack, and literally two weeks later, that's when we had Yo 70. It was done. The last track that made the album. Like, if I wouldn't went to the club, if I wouldn't listen to my baby mama, niggas would never heard Yo 70, it never got done.